Hi guys and welcome back to the Hickey's Music YouTube channel. I'm here today with an Ibanez GRX40. It's a bit of an easier code to remember than the other ones. There's uh, less numbers and less letters going on. Uh, it's one of the entry level models, which I'm a big fan of reviewing on the channel. Helping new players pick their first guitars is something that I take great pride in. And um, I'm happy to help you guys on your quest when it comes to picking up your instrument for the first time and getting something that absolutely rips that suits your style. And if you're into kind of any kind of music, these Ibanez guitars are very, very good to learn on because of their very slim necks and uh, comfortable kind of playing profile. I always recommend them to people starting out. Uh, we've had Jet guitars in the shop as well, which is very, very good. I'd say this is a very close contender to those Jet guitars, based on its price and its features as well. I had a really, really awesome time playing this guitar today. Um, I'm gonna to tell you guys why that is. You've got a nice selection of pickups here. They're Infinity RS pickups. Ibanez's is own brand. I had Infinity pickups on an RG350 and I thought they were really nice. I've recorded with them a few times and never had no problems. Uh, so these are the, their single pole piece style ones and it's a single, single and a humbucker and you've got that lovely one, two, three, four, five. I had to double check it then, I don't know why it's always going to be five, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five, <laughs> five way selector, full humbucker, get a bit of that split coil sound which sounds you know, quite unique to Wayman's guitars I think and a nice middle setting there and the split between the two there and the single one there. So you get strap light tones and rocky tones from it as well. T106 bridge, sounds like something from the Terminator. Uh, the only thing that this thing did actually manage to terminate was the tuning. <laughs> so when I used the bar, whole thing went out of tune. And that's just me being honest, it, it didn't hold its tune as well as um, sort of like a more expensive guitar, but that, it, that's the point of spending more money on an instrument. If you want something that holds its tune when you're going crazy with a whammy bar, get some up with a Floyd Rose on it, uh, which is gonna cost you more money. If you're not going crazy with the tram, it will stay perfectly in tune. It's got the lovely heel here, which is like sculpted around sort of like making your hand feel comfortable. And uh, the nice bevel here that makes it nice against your body as well. Poplar body, which is a cheap guitar body, but it does the job of, I guess, being a guitar body. It doesn't resonate in any particular way or lend itself to any kind of tonal characteristic in any massive way, but just is a decent wood that they make guitars out of. Not rosewood. It's like a Jatoba fretboard here, which is a sort of like slightly more orangey colour. You can normally just tell by looking at it. Didn't feel scratchy or dehydrated, which is really important, I think, when you're picking up a guitar for the first time, checking to make sure the guitar feels smooth on the frets. So I'm going to improvise with a few different tones so you can get a good idea of how the guitar sounds.
So if you're looking to start playing electric guitar for the first time, I would recommend going down to a music shop, maybe ours, that would be really cool, and um, picking up one of these GRX40s, putting it in your hands and giving it a little go. I personally think they're one of the best guitars on the market to start out on. All the sounds you could want, hot metally stuff, and then all the strat stuff that you could want as well, going from clean to high gain. Sounds and feels wicked, very impressed. I really enjoy playing around with this today. I hope you guys did too. If you've got any comments that you want to add, any feedback, any questions, anything you think we may have left out, please let us know in the comments below. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you're enjoying the content on the channel as a whole, uh, then uh, please consider subscribing to us as well. Thanks very much, guys, and see you next time.